All right, I was trying to record something real quick before the lights came on. Uh, so, it's your boy, Street Guy 73, you know, the Nevada with a Camaro. Crazy day today, uh, super just the heat, everything. I had a really cool segment with a, well, not a segment, but just like a flyby with another driver on the way back. He had a RX-7, third gen, red, just JDM, just looked factory stock with like modified exhaust and probably a couple like bolt-ons, but really cool. Um, so I just wanted to show you what the car looks like, uh, sunset evening type, uh, like I said, so, um, yeah, I guess good evening, street guys and street girls. This is the part that I'm going to be putting on the YouTube channel. So this is basically part two. So let me go ahead and do the walk around real quick. So let me just show you the beautiful setting real quick. Like these just came on. I tried to hurry up and finish and you can see all the cool stuff. I mean, it takes a minute to zoom in. Sorry, <laughs> but this place is really they used to have different lights and i'll show you that in a second but obviously you guys aren't here to see how beautiful this looks but that is what the star is so this is kind of it's kind of nice because you get to see somewhat daylight and then some of the light accents on the uh, car so it just gives it that really nice mirror finish and like i said i had a deep i did a quite quick wipe down of everything uh, right before I had to finish my day with errands and stuff. So, I mean, it's just the car. I'm curious what this is going to look like in 4K because my obviously my monitor is in 4K on the little preview screen. But, you know, I'm really curious to see because I know I can like alter the like lighting effect and all that stuff. But, oh, let me just show you real quick what the lights used to look like here. There's one left. There's one left over here. <laughs> Uh, it's right by our place, but I miss this type of lighting. That lighting, man, if you can zoom in on that. Yeah, that lighting was, whew. It basically gave me like Disneyland, Disney World vibes, like Epcot and like World of Color at the same time and the fireworks. So anyways, that's what's great about that. So I get to like walk here and like check it out and obviously i gotta go park in the garage but i'll do a quick startup real quick and then after that we will go ahead and let's see how it sounds so let me try to get in here because oh you love that sound oh you gotta hear the other sound too so the other sound before i start it up is the iconic grease up when you hear that that means you need to grease your hinges or whatever so these little tabs right here that's basically means they need a little bit of grease because you hear that metal squeak, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> and this is cool. Uh, somebody gifted me this, so that was kind of cool. It's a uh, import horn for the trucks for a loud thing. So I tested it out. Um, very old school. You don't really see these anywhere, but I have a horn and well, let's, let's hear it right now just because, um, yeah. Oh, I'll see it right now. Hold on. Uh, oops, I gotta close the trunk, but... So that's my horn button right there. I love the horn button. Original Type LT. Oh, it's beautiful. But let me try the horn out. See how dinky it sounds? <laughs> so, it's supposed to have like two of them, but... I want to add that horn just to try it out. And I still have my other part that I want to add in here which is the universal fuel filter. So yes, I technically have a door last uh, item, but this is what a real car guy's trunk should look like. This is not all show. We got original right here. So I really want to see how that's going to look. But main thing is I want to do a fire up and yeah, just see what it sounds like. And then do a technically a quick, well, not a quick, but a um, just a simple ride along. So, I don't need my air conditioning on anymore because I'm not going to be going that far, but let me go ahead and close it up and do a, not a cold start, but you know, yeah, this car has had it. <laughs> so, I'm going to put the headlights on because it's already like nighttime. So, let's see. 
Oh, I got a missed call. But let me go ahead and uh, do a quick drive around. And then I'll just end with, I guess, yeah, so we'll just do a, a slightly interesting drive along. <laughs> yeah. No, I won't be doing any like illegal donuts and stuff. I mean, hey, if these guys gave me permission to do it, I probably would. But yeah, that's pretty much like my favorite part is, uh, you know, this part. Just waiting for this to open up. It's, yeah. Oh, I can hear the like Jurassic Park, like, welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, my favorite part. Always gotta be cautious of where I'm going or whatever, and people are pulling up, because, you know, like I said, this is obviously a residential area. And yeah, so I think that's, you know, nothing really special. But I just love that I have the clearance. I don't have to actually drive. And this is exactly what it looks like when you don't wear your seatbelt in a 1973 second gen, early second gen Camaro. Uh, they have that indicator. I don't know if it shows up or not. I want to see if I can zoom in on it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. But yeah, basically, it'll say fasten seat belts and it has a sensor so when there's enough weight on it it triggers the sensor and believe it or not there was like an annoying buzz sound that would be like and is <laughs> you know it did its job because i remember as a kid trying to get in this car and my dad would be like you gotta put the seat belt on you gotta put the seat belt on i'm not trying to drive with this you know it's almost like dumb and dumber with the thing so yeah okay enough of that but anyways that's kind of um you know how you know just when i do get a chance to take the car out um yeah it's just nice I, it's just a bummer though because like you know, i wiped the car down and had it washed and you know and then it just got super dusty where i parked at so it's like fine dust you know still clean but you know i just it's one of those things you just can't avoid when you're trying to park it. And yeah, so I just want to see how it's going to look once I once I park it or whatever. So sorry if it's a little bit longer than expected, but I just got to get my little clicker. I wish I would just have like a thing. Well, I mean, I have it on my app too, which is kind of nice. So I can open it, but sometimes the clicker does not always pick it up right away. Uh, but yeah so but yeah yeah no it's it's nice I, you know it's like this anytime I pull into a garage I always feel like it's uh, you know kind of reminds me of like zombie apocalypse I don't know why I always think of a zombie apocalypse when I'm in a parking structure or like something super shady is going down that you're not supposed to witness and it's like you have to leave as soon as possible but yeah it's um pretty cool so yeah yeah just you know let's see if nobody's in my parking spot i always got to deal with uh this person parking here so i don't know how it's gonna work how i'm gonna actually be able to like back up park and do with all that stuff so just give me a chance and i will do it real quick it's not gonna look pretty so it ain't gonna look pretty but I'm gonna back into this parking spot. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna back into this parking spot and then basically uh, not hit anything. Cause remember, I don't have a reverse camera, so I'm not gonna be able to see anything that's going on. So let me go ahead and back up. I don't know if these people are just bugging me or asking questions and stuff and be able to just park as close as I can to the actual thing. Um, and then they're just acknowledging because I don't think they get a chance to see the car that much. They've probably seen it in the parking lot, but they've never seen the person that drives it. So, you know, it's kind of nice to be able to do that. And uh, there we go. So it didn't take that long to back up, but what you're getting out is 
very hard because I'm very limited on like what I can get. Sorry if it's like push it up, but I'm just trying to do all my post drive stuff where I lock up and, and all that, but you don't need to see all that because that ain't fun. And I'll just do a walk around real quick at this lighting because I really do want to see what this lighting looks like. And you know, yeah, I think I got everything I need. I just need to put everything else away that I have. And so I just want to lock everything up because I do not want to deal with any of this stuff or whatever. So, okay, so that's closed, that's closed up. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my little cover on and all the cars are here, so we are set and uh, that's pretty much it. So, hold on. So that is it, let's go ahead and I think, I don't know where I put my little parking pass at. I thought I had it here, but I guess I don't. That's weird. That is very, very, very weird. That is very, very weird. I have no idea where it's at, but I will have to look at that. So let me just do a quick walk around outside and film this while things are not going as planned. So let's see here. We are gonna shoot this one thing last second. Let me just close this up. And this is how the car looks as if it's parked with the natural lighting and stuff. So yeah, so that's kind of how it looks. And I'll be curious to see what this looks like in 4K, but just a different type of lighting. So let's see here. This is how it looks with the natural lighting from the parking lot. So I'll be curious to see how this looks. All right, well, I guess I will end this and see what the round look on the other side. And we'll go ahead and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and I'll use that as my thumbnail and that's it.